Hey everyone, um, this is Permafrost, and before I start narrating and stuff, thank you, Mag, for, uh, giving me a shout out in your vid. Um, got a lot more subscribers now, and I'm, I really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, you know I'm grateful, I've told you like a thousand times already, so, yeah, here goes the battle. So I get off a Sucker Punch, it does a lot, it does a buttload to Zangoose. I sucker punch again, he sword dances, but I'm just gonna sucker punch to finish him off. I guess he thought I would, I don't know, do some sort sort of other move besides sucker punch. Sucker punch here, once again, and it's gonna do a huge chunk to this whale lord, which is awesome. He's gonna surf me. Uh, that was a pretty safe play, considering um, he knew I'd sucker punch and do a lot to him. So a little polyrath to because I know most whale lords are spec. So I get a substitute up. And I wish I would have brought my bulk up polyrath because it would have come in so much handy. But um, yeah, it doesn't always uh, work out that way. So he's sending a hip now and he sets up a reflect, which is so lame. And um, yeah, gonna just try to keep waterfalling to try and wear out the reflect so I can do more damage. But um, I'm just gonna wait until he breaks my sub, I believe. Just keep waterfalling. And waterfall is doing a, a decent chunk. It's not doing a lot, but it's doing something. And as long as it's doing a, at least a little bit of damage, I'm mildly happy. So he gets some health back due to him wishing upon a star. And he's almost back to full health. I'm gonna switch out. And he's gonna size my cost here, and I had a complete like brain lapse at this point in time. On this next turn, I'm gonna hypnosis, and I forgot all about insomnia, which was so gay. I was, but not gay on his part. That was complete my bad. And he's gonna get a wish off. I nasty plot. So I'm like, hey, if I don't get paralyzed, he can't take me out with one. The size and cost, so I'll get something on some at least anything. Um, I get parahacks, so that was lame. And um, I'm gonna switch out because I'm an idiot and <laughs> go to Grumpig. I was kind of watching Flash Forward on Hulu.com, go Hulu, like the greatest website ever, and wasn't paying attention too much. I mean, could have played a little better, but I was interested in the episode I was watching. Go watch Flash Forward. Great show. Um, yeah, I overpredict here. I think he might want to switch out to something else. And I body slam instead of going for a close combat. I'm pretty sure close combat would have done more. Even with stab and stuff. Zangoose, um, probably would have done more with close combat. And I was praying that his hypnosis would miss, but it didn't. And that was pretty gay. But, whatever. So yeah, Flamethrower is obviously going to take out a Zangoose, because Zangoose, we all know, he doesn't have the greatest of defenses. So, who do I switch to now? I'm going to switch to Polyrath, because I know Polyrath has very good defenses, so I know I can live with Energy Ball. And, as the health goes down, I was like, whoa, I thought it survived a little more, but um, he takes me to 74 HP. Uh, which is still a decent chunk to live with, considering it was a plus two energy ball. If he had life orb, he would have taken me out, but thankfully he didn't. So now he's going to switch to Mega Monkey. Uh, I'm going to switch out, go to my Meganium, and Meganium is not going to take the U-turn too well. Meganium doesn't like U-turn that much. So, he's going to go to Big Nose, and I get a little more Lefty's Recovery, and I wish this Lexi would have actually, you know, hit, but uh, my luck is not the greatest. And I wish I also... Uh, just a lot of things I wish, I wish, I wish, but uh, just, just didn't happen that way for me. So he sends in this prime up again. I know he's going to U-turn. So I'm going to go to Nine Tails knowing I could take it. And I do take it moderately well, but now... I know when he brings in Big Nose, two seismic tosses will kill me, 
So I'm just gonna go for a flamethrower, do as much damage as I possibly can before dying. Thankfully I don't get paraxed again. And Ninetales goes down. So, Big Nose is out there. I'm gonna send him Polyrath. I'm praying to the gods of Hex now. I'm like, please let me get a flinch. That would, that would just make my day. I haven't gotten a flinch in a while. And uh, I actually get the flinch, which is uh, pretty cool. I'm gonna keep praying, just asking and asking. And I get another flinch, which is great. I am thankful. Um, let me finish him off with the Ice Punch. You know, just switch it up a bit, see what other moves I can do. And now he's gonna switch into Mega Monkey. He's gonna predict and go for a U-turn. Um, that wasn't too. I wasn't too worried about that. As it goes for a U-turn, I go for a Waterfall. A Waterfall does about half to Nido Queen. And I actually think I got min damage and I get poison. See, my luck just kind of sucks. So, um, yeah, gonna go for another waterfall on this turn, praying I could take it out. But it looks like I get min damage on this turn. Because it did over half the first time, and this time it was with a sliver. And he takes me out with a Thunderbolt. So, um, all I have left is Meganium. And I know he's gonna switch in on Primate after I get rid of this Nido Queen and just uh, take me out with U turns. So at this point in time, I know it's a good game, but it was a really fun one. Uh, this one's against Rebel, by the way, if I didn't say so, you know, preoccupied thinking mag, but this one's against Rebel from YouTube. I've been wanting to battle him for quite some time. We were both on PWBZ today, together, that's pretty much a dead chat now, but yeah, we are on that chat together, and he's going to take me out with a U-turn, so very fun game, Rebel. Uh, glad we chose to do NU. Uh, comment rate sub guys, and peace. See you next time. Later.